All right, so we're speeding things up here during the night, during their free time where they're going hunting. <laughs> Working all night and all day. So we, we have to be happy about our peeps. Oh, yes, we do. All right, so nothing's going on in the cold numbers because it is active from 8 till 18. So I guess that is just what it is. Uh, so what do we need to be thinking about for the fifth day here in the game is what I'm thinking. Construction. Should we open up a new area? So that we have more areas to work on, should we possibly put on another like steam thing? Oh, what's that stuff? Kids, a protective mother. The mother has refused to let her daughter go to work. Uh, oh, last time somebody got injured, that was a kid, we gave them the day off. So I don't think we're going to be making any exceptions here. You're going to work. That's just how it is. We can't have a children working force and then leaving them home. All right, so we're done here with the expedition and we need to explore a camp. Great. Well, let's see what we have. A happy reunion. All right. All right. So these are these are people we missed and we can escort them home and get what? 36 people, different types, some kids, some workers, some engineers. So that is an option or we can possibly lose some if we let them find their way home. Well, you know what? In the spirit of the uh, first time we're finding people, we're just escorting them home. We're, we're pretty nice like that. Perhaps we're not good all the time, but this time around we were Dr. Good Guys. So we definitely need a larger area. We're probably going to be needing uh, new tents and stuff. But the first thing is, of course, that we need to get these workers out of the hunters' huts because they cannot actually find food during the day for some mysterious reason. So we're taking them out of the hunter's huts, once again putting them into the world trays, the cold thumpers, all the areas where we can gain some resources so that we can keep thriving as, <laughs> as a civilization, uh, so we can build more, research more, advance more, all the good things really. And the cookhouse is, well we do have 45, oh I need to put people in there. Great, so now they're making food. I'm thinking that it's better to stash up on, on prepared food than raw food. Uh, in case we are unable to like have people for the cooking hut at some point too. It doesn't run out of <laughs> duration with the cooked food. So unless we want to be starving people like intentionally, but I don't think we're going to be doing that. But we shall see. And so we have coal piles there. Okay, so we can assign people to the coal piles. I saw something there, gathering post. All right, so if we build one of these here, it will be able to access some of the coal piles and even the crates there so that is probably the way to go we need to of course build some streets to it but then we can assign possibly even the children because it's probably safe work to just go around picking up stuff from piles oh the scouts have returned with 22 workers some engineers and some children all right so we can now send the scouts somewhere else that's oh i'm no longer in control oh. This just looks amazing. I am pretty amazed about how crazy this game looks. Wow. All right, people from our convoy. Reunions, happy times, heartwarming. Yeah, in a very cold place. But that is what it is. It is what it is, what it is, what it is, and why it is. So we will look for more people. But for now, I can see that we are missing housing for 36 people. So that is definitely something that we need to do. Search for others. Yeah, we're going to do that. Uh, we need to send the scout out again. What? Oh, there. View on map. Great. And I think we're just going to take the one with the dot on. But we do have the crash site and the observatory as well. But we're going towards the sturdy shelter. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting. I need to press the arrow. Oh, <laughs> you guys know what I mean. All right. Crazy. Can we make another? No, we still can't. Okay, build a sawmill nearby to start extraction. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking that the first thing that we actually need is to make a new area. So we're making one of these like steel hub things. But before we can do that, we need streets. So this area over here, I'm thinking we're going to be making something all the way up to the big one, but we don't have the wood for that. So let's just <laughs> let's not do that right now and just build a steam hub at the center so that we're going to be heating up that entire area and then we can have new housing there. But since we're probably going to be running a little out of time, we may want to be building some of the tents in the already heated areas. But I mean, we can slot things down there. But there is no heat, so we prob we need to put some up here, like 
pretty snappy so that we can get housing for the people that we found. I don't know how they could survive without housing and tents before they came here, but now that they are here, they will die if we don't build a tent for them. So <laughs> that's a thing. And all right, so we have for another batch of tents. Do I want to put it here in the corner or where I know it's going to be heated up shortly? I'm thinking in the heated area. We don't want them dying now that we like rescued them, so we better slot them down there. Okay, so we need we need another tent area so that we have them all covered. Are there more things that we need like right here and right now? Of course, now that we have 40 additional people, we also need some kind of like job for them so they're not just leeching on us. Nobody likes leechers and AFKers. So do we want to research resourcing sawmill? <laughs> we don't have enough wood to research for the sawmill. Wow, that's a bit ironic. Oh well, is there anything we can do? What's that? Drawing boards? Oh, so we have tiered. I didn't even see that. We have different tiers of research. Hmm, crazy stuff. Well, we need wood, so there is nothing we can do right now. And we still need, we need another tent, so that is probably more important uh, right here and right now to get like housing for people so they don't like die. Alright, so all the house options are down. And well, it says we need streets, but we have ordered the construction. So I'm thinking for those near the center, it's going to be good. But of course, for the ones over here, we need to build it. And let's just speed things up a little bit because they're working kind of slow all things i mean if they're freezing that much then they could like underlay speed it up guys come on speed it speed it but nope and working there then we have everything covered if we take that path yeah so like there i don't know it, the pathing is a bit weird i feel all right so what do we want to do now we have our scout working we have tents up and running we have a new steam hub what's that now resource shortage we're getting short on well i know it's because you're like big spenders what can we do about that extended shift uh work more yes of course uh, 14 hours great so a 14 hour work day and then they can hunt during the night but not the kids of course they're they're sleeping during the night which is okay you no know, 10 hours is not enough no 14 is good and what do we have we have 36 26 without housing eight that are hungry and some sick people wow we are thriving as a civilization <laughs> everything is amazing oh boy all right so is there anything more like i can do right now actively we are pretty short on resources we have 18 steel we have seven wood we probably need to think about getting more wood uh, ba, 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 ba. We don't even have enough wood to research, so what do I want to do? What do I want to do in order to get more resources? Discontent. Stop being discontent. Eat some food instead of being hungry. Everybody has a house now. Be happy. Wow. Seriously. That's a bit rude. Well, what can we... How can we nudge things? We need wood. Wood is important. And... I mean, I'm taking these away from the wood crates. I'm just putting them into the hunter's hut areas now because it's free time once again, so we need them to work <laughs> by gathering raw food. I absolutely love how this game works. Oh, yes, I do. Work during the day, work during the night. Oh, yes. And of course, the kids are home, cozy, sleeping in their safe beds. Oh, yes, they are. Great, 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 great. So is there anything more we need to do on day five before going into day six i'm just yeah putting the children into the gathering post that is safe work for them to do what the first amputation well we did save the patient's life so i think that is a pretty good thing and we can research towards a care house hmm, not bad i think we're doing pretty good considering i wanted to be evil so <laughs> pretty good fifth day here in the game i think so absolutely freaking lootly